Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Chocolate raspberry this morning. Yay! It's going to be 20 degrees. It's cold. Today is donation day. I'm excited about that. I can get all that stuff out of the hallway upstairs and somebody else hopefully can enjoy it. So I'll keep on decluttering and have them come again in a couple weeks. They come into my area like every two weeks, so it can be an ongoing process. And I still have lots of things to declutter. So I hope everybody is well and things are going well and you don't have to spend money on a lot of repairs. And I hope I'm done with spending money on repairs. So yesterday I had a good time with my mom. We had the pizza for dinner. I have one piece left that I'll probably have for breakfast this morning. I love pizza for breakfast. I even love spaghetti for breakfast. Well, you, know, you guys know I eat a little later in the day, so I don't eat your typical uh, traditional breakfast foods most of the time. I eat what I have in the fridge, so, and I'm trying not to go shopping for quite a while yet. We'll see how that goes. I still have some produce, and I still have frozen food that I want to use. I don't want it to go bad, so I'm going to use it and just replace what I use up. Ooh, I'm looking forward to my first sip of this. I still have one box that's 12 pots of the chocolate raspberry that I've kind of been saving because I've been drinking my other coffee that I didn't like as well. So interspersed with that, I use the chocolate raspberry. And uh, hopefully they'll have it again next year and I'll stock up on it. So let me give this a taste. Oh yes, as good as I remember. So today I get to stay home. Yay! I'm always happy when I get to stay home. And I don't know what I'm going to do today. I feel okay, so I should be able to get something done. Um, I don't really need to cook dinner, and I don't need to make cook breakfast because I have the pizza, and then I still have enough macaroni and cheese and the uh, baked beans that I made with the leftovers the other day. I still have enough of that for dinner. So I don't really have to focus too much on cooking, but I am thinking of making some vegan lunch meat so that I can uh, start eating some sandwiches and then I'll have to bake a loaf of bread pretty soon because I'm using up the uh, chia butter rolls I have and the little piece of Walmart bread. So anyway, um, I don't know, we'll see what's what's what today. There's always some adventure going on here in my house and uh, I'm not really in the mood for a staycation day. So we'll see. Alright, I'm going to really enjoy this coffee and I'll be back in a little bit going to take a look at my budget book and see how I'm doing financially. All right. Well, I have one piece of pizza left over. This is my brunch for today. And then my mom, she gave me a panettone, so with butter and um, peach jam. And it was tasty. Today is Tea Tuesday. Uh, happy Tea Tuesday. Cheers. And this is turmeric and ginger tea and I put some uh, honey and vanilla and something else, caramel creamer in it. It's pretty good. So I've been doing my finances here for the end of the month. Quite the eye-opener, I'll tell you. Now, I started this 
tracking of stuff. I mean, I had to backtrack the first two weeks of January. And that's where I spent the biggest chunk of discretionary money. Um, after I started tracking it, I noticed a, a very steep drop in spending. So it, it does work. Now there's certain bills that, of course, are going to be pretty much the same every month. A um, couple of things I want to pay off. So the, those are probably going to be staying the same. But um, this has been working great. Um, in February, I can even keep a closer eye on what I'm spending. Um, some of the things I had to buy, but really when I looked at my spending, because I wrote down what I spent it on, it was a good chunk of money that I really, really didn't even have to spend. So I think this is very doable. I think I can pay off my bills much quicker um, tracking it this way and uh, then paying what I can. So I tracked pretty much every penny I spent. And one of the things that surprised me, because I don't do that many hauls and things like that, but in as far as discretionary spending, um, I, I spent like $75 at the Dollar Tree. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what in the heck did I buy? Now, I know I bought some little decor things, you know, little gnome things and and stuff and you know they're cute and oh I did buy a couple of garden things but the garden things I'm not ready for yet and the little gnomey things like I said they're still sitting on my dining room table so I could have done without those very easily I could have saved myself $75 by not even going into the Dollar Tree because there was nothing in there that I absolutely had to have and I think some of it might have been food. I don't know. I don't, I don't really think there was a whole lot of that. My biggest deal is Amazon because it's just so easy to, okay, I'll buy that. Now, my big, biggest expenditure was actually the microwave. So normally I wouldn't spend a big chunk like that. And that was 200 and with taxes and everything, $233 around that mark. So normally, I wouldn't spend that much in a month on Amazon. But, um, I mean, I spent like $400 on Amazon, you know, and that's something that, well, I did have to get a part to repair the microwave and a um, couple gaskets. I mean, some of it was, you know, things that, I needed to repair something, but some of it was just other stuff that I probably could have done without. So um, I only spent $25.25 uh, on flash food, so that was pretty good, but then I did spend money at Walmart too. So like I said, I noticed a big drop in spending from the first two weeks where I wasn't tracking to the last two weeks of January where I started tracking and it was a dramatic difference I would say like at least half. So this is working um, and I'm going to I already started with February you know putting my the bills I do in blue just because that's the color I picked so those are the bills that I have to pay, you know, water, gas, electric, um, my car payment, uh, any, anything that I pay, pay every month will go in the blue. Any payments to my credit cards go in blue. Um, so that, that's something that I pay every month, and I pretty much pay the same things all the time. If I buy something, anything, you know, a, a a burger or fries or whatever it goes in red and I mark down on the calendar what I spend it on so I'm not scratching my head going where did that money go so 
this way I can see where I need to plug up the um, the flow of money going out because I really this year want to free up a lot of money so that I can start putting it away and, and saving a little bit more because with, with all this purging that I'm doing and stuff it's like why are you buying more when you're getting rid of stuff you know so I'm being very mindful of that. Um, my income I do in green, so then at the end of every week I can total up, in, you know, in the total column, I can total up, you know, green, red, and blue, whatever I spent that week, and then at the end of the month I can total up each red, green, and blue thing and see, okay, I got this much income, I spent this much on non-discretionary things, and I spent this much on the bills. And I can see where I'm just not doing a very good job. So this is working great. Get yourself a calendar and track your spending. I know at first it seems like, oh God, you know, but if you do it every day and you monitor you know, what you've spent and you give yourself a nice green check mark or, you know, a sticker or whatever it is that makes you happy uh, on a day where you don't spend anything, you know, that's great. And it makes you feel good to get a handle on this stuff. So, um, anyway, it makes me feel good. So, this month I didn't spend money. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 days were no spend. And the rest of the days, of course, is when I did all the damage. So next month, I expect to see way more no spend days. And those are just random days. They aren't, you know, they aren't days that, okay, in big blocks of time. So you know, checks and X's, the X's are the, the when I spent money. So, you know, sometimes it was three days in a row I didn't buy anything, sometimes it was one day, you know, so it's just random. But this makes me see that, okay, I am doing no spend days. I'm doing, actually, this comes to a couple weeks a month where I did no spend. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you and uh, go over that and see maybe if, you know, if you don't know where your money's going and you're always in the hole, maybe that'll be helpful to you. I know it's extremely helpful to me. So, and then as the months go by, um, because I have it all made ahead by month, and then when January is done now, I'm going to put that to the back of the notebook and that'll leave February in the front. And when that's done, that'll go to the back. So it'll always be easy to do, and I won't have to flip through this um, every day to get to where I want to be. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go do a little bit of decluttering. And uh, I'm not cooking today. Um, I'm just going to have what's left over in my fridge. And I really want to spend less on groceries this coming up month. I still have uh, some produce that I can eat. I have frozen produce uh, that I can eat. So I really think I could probably get through the month of February without buying a whole lot of uh, new food. So anyway, I'm going to give it a try. We'll see how it goes. You know, if I really need something, I'll, I'll go buy it. But if I don't really need it and I can use something else instead, then that's what I'll do. All right, uh, I'm going to go see what I can declutter. My bags are gone out of the hallway. The, um, the declutter people came this morning and picked it up. Yay! More gone. So that always makes me happy. And I think my goal in that is to get to the point where Maybe I can donate a bag a month as I bring in new things, 
uh, future me can uh, declutter some of the older stuff and future me will be happy because I'll have way more room in my closets which I do not want to fill up again. I just want to keep the clothes that I have now and maybe get a new outfit every now and then but um, you know I, I don't want to go on on clothes shopping sprees it's not necessary because my my clothes don't go out of style they're they're very basic um, clothes they're classic styles so um, you know anyway that's the plan all right I'll be back later and See what okay, else so is this up. was my declutter for the day. Today I decluttered my unmentionables. <laughs> and I made it so that I could actually put my unmentionables, that they would fit in my drawer. drawers. I have a lot of unmentionables. But anyway, these are the ones that I'm decluttering. And that'll be it for the next... Um, declutter pickup. All right. So this is what I had for dinner. I had some um, iceberg lettuce that I got from my last flash food box that's been in the fridge for quite a while and it's still perfectly good. I have one more small little head. I had the rest of the macaroni and cheese that I used some of the frozen vegan cheese that I had in the freezer and um, some of the baked beans that I uh, cooked the beans and I used up some of the TVP and some of the tempeh bacon that I had made. I just combined them all together and it was good and easy. I just had to heat it up. So that was dinner for tonight. That's the end of Happy Tea Tuesday. Uh, dinner was good. I didn't cook today, I just ate what was in the fridge, and that's what I'm going to be doing until I get some more room in my freezer. Uh, I'm just going to cook some of the things that I <coughs> heat up, some of the things I cooked before, like for the holidays and things, so uh, that way I can get more decluttering done and whatever else I want to do. So I'm going to... Um, also eat what I still have in the fridge. I'm going to try not to do any shopping in February uh, starting tomorrow. I didn't spend any money today uh, wrapping up January on a positive note um, and uh, I'm going to continue on with my budgeting and my using up what I have. So um, anyway that's all I have for you today, my friends. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.